रहा है What's up, guys? Chad here from Loot Tunes, bringing you another exciting episode of Loot Tunes Talks. And guess what? We're doing another countdown. If you want to check out my last countdown, it's right here. So, what are we doing today? Well, you probably read the title, and uh, yep, that's right. We're doing the top 10 kick-ass females in cartoons. This time, I've streamlined it. The other countdown was about 36 minutes in its entirety, and that's just way too long to hang out with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I'm really excited about this countdown. There were so many awesome kick-ass females throughout cartoon history that how do you bring just 10? Hey, well, I did it. <laughs> so with that, I'm not going to keep you guys hanging around here too much longer. Let's have a cheers and dive in. Okay, the rules for this countdown will be basically the same as last time. Feel free to hit pause if you want a better look at the criteria. Also, this time around, characters will be measured on their kick assness, so to speak. Uh, things like toughness, badassery, and cool skills will all be taken into consideration. Now before we start, here are a few really quick honorable mentions for people who just missed the cut. And with that, let's start this countdown. Oh dear. Never mind. It will be glorious. Number 10, Hexadecimal from Reboot. What a crazy bitch. Hexadecimal is without question one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time, which is a list I'll be doing soon. Even though she does a lot less physical fighting than some of the others on this list, she seems to have this mysterious set of powers which seem literally unbeatable at times when she feels like using them. The best part of Hexadecimal is her full-on split personality that you can visibly watch change. And this leads her to star in some of the most creepy, badass, and disturbing scenes ever shown in a cartoon. I will tear you apart once I am free of this infernal collar! That thought alone keeps me well. Dear brother! Okay, that's creepy as hell. Replicon, your ice! Number 9, Slice Dice from Sky Surfer Strike Force. Sky Surfer Strike Force was born during a time when everyone and their moms were making super team shows. And to each super team, there is the obligatory female character, usually just there to supply some hotness or something. But Sliced Ice is actually the most powerful in the team by a long shot. While the rest of the guys use swords, guns, and boomerangs, in addition to her body armor and rocket-powered surfboard, Sliced Ice has a magical ice scepter, which she can insta-freeze anything at any range. Yeah. You go, Ice. You go. Little oh, help me! She's crazy! Crazy! Oh, you ain't seen crazy yet! Number 8, Spinelli from Recess. I could not be more thrilled to bring a Recess character to one of these countdowns, and Spinelli fits right in. In a friends group populated by Mikey, Vince, and TJ, somehow it's Spinelli who's the muscle of the crew, and that's awesome. She's short on temper and jam-packed with rowdy badassery. Offering up her signature knuckle sandwich, Spinelli kicked more ass during Recess than most characters can say they have in a lifetime. Number 7, Kim Possible from Kim Possible. Where Totally Spies missed out on this list, Kim Possible really succeeds. Ditching the pink, the cuteness, and the giggles for some camo green cargos, a black skin tight shirt, and tactical gloves, Kim is fully trained in martial arts and does it all without breaking a sweat. <sighs> Kim, of all the ladies on this list, you're the one who's stolen my heart. Ooh! Maybe not. You know, speaking of Even Stevens characters, I heard that one kid from the show actually grew up to be pretty handsome and successful. No, not that kid. Yeah, that kid. Are you hurt? No, I like being blown up. Number 6, Gwen Tennyson from Ben 10. 
Ben 10 is one of the more recent cartoons that I've actually been able to really enjoy. Though it's recent, it feels like it fits in with the likes of things like Static Shock, Batman Beyond, and Batman the Animated Series. And Gwen is definitely my favorite character from the show. I won't dig too deep into her powers and alien origins, though they are awesome, but long story short, she basically has all the powers of the Green Lantern with none of the limitations from the ring. She's smart, level-headed, and always using her powers right in the nick of time, allowing her to kick some serious alien butt. Oh, and by the way, this new Ben 10 Omniverse looks fucking awful. Seriously. Awful. Hey, Foreman! How's your parole officer? American Made? Oh, man. Number 5. American Made from the Tick. American Maid is one of those awesome characters that actually wasn't taken from the comic books. She was only added in later to the animated series, actually along with some of my other favorites. This isn't to say I didn't love the Tick comic books though. I was always waiting on that Chainsaw Vigilante episode, but it just never came. But back to American Maid, aside from her hilarious name pun which was totally lost on me as a kid, she is seriously a kick-ass character. In a world where nearly every costumed hero is completely useless and has no powers, American Maid seems to be the only capable hero in town, and is constantly serving up good old fashioned American ass kickings. And though she might not have any real powers, she sure does throw a damn mean high heel. Number 4, Curare from Batman Beyond. Right up there with Spellbinder as my favorite Beyond villain, Curare is part of an assassin organization, of which she is the most skilled member. Though it's up for debate, I'd personally argue that she is the most physically imposing villain that Terry faces. She wields a scimitar, a sword that's sharpened by lasers to an edge no larger than a molecule and can cut through anything, as Bruce Wayne puts it. A woman of few, well, no words, this slick, sexy huntress only does battle with Terry McGinnis through two episodes of Batman Beyond's three-season run, but with limited screen time and literally zero dialogue, her high-flying acrobatics and utterly amazing sword skills make her fully awesome and totally kick-ass. And Destro know that. You're sure you wouldn't lie to me, would you? Number three, Scarlet from G.I. Joe. You've just gotta love Scarlet. She was the very first female Joe to take form, and she remains the iconic female figure of the series. She's as sneaky as the Baroness, as nimble as Snake Eyes, and as charming as Flint. She really is the total package, and she's a rare character in the G.I. Joe universe that's actually accurate with a ranged weapon. And she's always got that perfect one-liner queued up for defeating Cobra Scum. No thanks! I'm only hungry for information! Though the rankings aren't quite clear for the Joes, Scarlet seems to take command right below Duke along with Flint, and the Joes never hesitate to have her back. It's no secret that I love G.I. Joe, but Scarlet was an easy and obvious choice for this countdown. And not just because I have a thing for redheads. Buttercup, I'm innocent. The boys, they put me up to it, honest! Number 2, Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls. I've heard it argued before that due to some of their individual powers, Blossom is technically the best Powerpuff Girl. Did you get the air quotes on that? This is a list of kick-ass cartoon females, and of the sugar, spice, and everything nice, Buttercup is the spice. She's the rough and tumble, badass enforcer of the group, and as the theme song says, she's the toughest fighter. Yep, that's what I just said. <laughs> Who's editing this? Michael? Michael? Don't, don't duplicate what I'm saying. Because it makes me... Even though all the girls are basically the cute, girly equivalent to Superman, it's Buttercup's tomboy attitude and sheer ruthlessness that makes her so awesome. She never lets up and is lightning fast to dish out a brutal beating to any baddie. Be it one of many nameless giant monsters, or a cross-dressing, tranny version of Satan. Yeah. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Whenever you're ready. She's the greatest Earthbender I've ever seen. 
Number one, Toph from Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm proud to announce that Toph is most definitely the most kick-ass female cartoon character that I can think of, and for so many different reasons. Now, the argument of which kind of bending is the best is possibly the most pointless argument ever, and unfortunately one I've been involved with quite a few times. But for my money, earth bending is where it's at. Enter Toph, a small, unassuming little girl who happens to be involved in some sort of underground earth bending fighting circle. And damn, can she bend some earth. But I feel like there's one thing about her that I'm forgetting. Hmm. Oh, she's blind. Yep, can't see a thing and is bending massive quantities of insanely large boulders. If that doesn't add to her awesomeness, I don't know what does. In addition, she's the only character in the last Airbender universe to create her own form of bending, metal bending, which she learns through discovering earth-based impurities in metal. Just awesome to watch. In the end, giving Toph the number one spot was just obvious to me. But why take my word for it? Toph's earthbending ass kickery simply speaks for itself. So that settles it. Earthbending really is the best bending. No further argument required. That's right. Fucking earthbender, bitch. Shoot me a comment down below. Let me know who you think should have been on the list. I really do try to go through and read all of them and respond to as many as I can. And lastly, I want to invite you guys to come check out my blog. I'm posting tons of updates on all the cartoons that I'm working on, all the videos that I'm working on. It mean a lot to me. It mean that I could sleep at night and the uh, breadcrumbs. I live behind a pizza hut, so I can only live off the breadcrumbs from the pizza crusts that people eat. So, If you go to the blog, I feel much better about eating those pizza crumbs. So I've left a link in the description for that, and hey, that's all I got to say. Okay, thanks, bye.